this video I saw in the comments that a lot of people had gone through similar things that I've gone through first off Bailey like I said in the last video it was hard for me to think about how am I gonna move forward there is a difference between healthy grieving and unhealthy grieving these are six six signs that you're stuck Um, another thing that me and my, my dad and I were talking about is just sometimes people when they go through grief they may lose faith in God and this is a little bit different for me because I don't really talk about God or religion on the channel so this is kind of a different thing for me to talk about with you guys but I, I do feel it could be helpful um, so a lot of people feel like you know why did this happen does God even understand grief or what I'm feeling and there is a scripture um, Matthew 5 and 4 and it says blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted he will wipe away every tear from your eyes so yes Jesus understands grief yes you're going to mourn but he's going to be there for you and he will comfort you he'll wrap you in his bosom and you know he'll keep you um, and I can be a testament to that um, because like I said it was some dark days but I do feel like um, Jesus was with, Jesus was with me every step and he did keep me through that those trying times and another thing that my dad mentioned was even Jesus himself he grieved in the Bible in John 11 35 it says Jesus wept and it's the shortest scripture in the Bible I believe and he wept because um, Lazarus had died and he understood mourning in that and in the shortest verse in the Bible it shows that Jesus understood mourning and he understood what it felt like. Even Jesus had sadness in the face of circumstances and that's normal. He wept because Lazarus died. He wept because his mother was weeping that Lazarus died. So being sad when you're hit with grief is normal. What you don't want to do is just stay there. It's, that's the part that I'm really trying to drill home. You want to not stay in that place. So. I just have a few things to help you go through your grief because we've talked about being stuck in grief, we've talked about healthy grieving, unhealthy grieving, we've mentioned that Jesus grieved and why he grieved and if Jesus understands our grief. So here are a couple of things that you can do if you are in a place of grief, if you are trying to work through your grief. So the first thing we have is to seek help and support. Um, and like I said, this path is not something that you have to travel alone. You know, humans are built to be with other humans, a community, a support system. So get a support system, therapy, friends, family, those jerky times three, whatever you need to do to feel supported because grief is hard. It's hard and you, you just, you, you don't want to have to do it alone. Second thing that I would rec well, that we would recommend is to accept your grief. Don't hide from it. You have to, again, the first step is acceptance. Accept you are hurt except that you are grieving that's the first step if you hide from the grief it'll just sneak up on you and it's always like something nagging you nagging you nagging you so you gotta face your grief head on and accept that grief so the next thing we have is find role models to connect with others who have gone through similar loss because of course i'm not the first person who lo who's lost their baby their baby yorkie and I, I definitely won't be the last so it's good to commune with people who have kindred spirits, who understand what you're going through, who can give you tips for what they did when they were in the same process of their grief that you are. So definitely reach out to people and see, you know, you can build relationships and bonding and you can help each other grow as you both, because even if that person has maybe gotten through the grieving process, it's still something that sits with them. So you can still help them and they can help you as you both maneuver through life with this loss. The fourth thing is to learn about grief. You can learn about the emotions, the psychology, physically, and it will help you and help someone else. So it's nothing wrong with going on the internet and looking up grief, learning signs of grief. You can look for more signs than what I've said and you can really learn about how grief can uh, physically affect you, emotionally affect you, mentally affect you. So therefore, if you're going through grief, you'll know the signs for yourself. Or if you see somebody going through grief, you can help them with the signs. 
Step five is again, share your grief. We really touched on building a community, not going through grief alone. Um, the Bible does says, confess your faults to one another. And so you have to say how you feel, share how you feel, get it out. Because like I said, if you hold it in, it's just, it's like you'll explode one day. You want to just get it out, express your grief, have somebody to talk it through with. The sixth step that I have is to accept your feelings as your own. Own it, accept the reality, denial. <laughs> Denial is not a river in Africa, so you definitely want to, again, um, really just hone in on accepting the grief and owning your grief. Being okay in your grief and seeing the light at the end of the, your grief. And the final thing that I have is pace yourself. Everyone grieves differently. Um, it took me, Bailey um, passed away on July 25th. It took me till November to even feel up to recording a YouTube video, editing a YouTube video, or posting a YouTube video. And so, and I took my time. I waited till I felt like I was ready. You have to, you can't focus on what other people are doing because their race is not your race. You want to focus in on what you have going on, how you feel. If Susie grieved in two weeks and moved on with life, that's her. If it takes you three months, that's okay because it's a process. You just don't want to get stuck in the process, but you want to move through the process at your own pace don't feel rushed don't feel like oh I should be over this by now take your time and it's okay there's no rush um, there's no these are just tips there's no rule book on grief so you have to grieve the best way for you the most important thing that I keep saying is to accept it and to not get stuck in it and to get in community with like-minded people with people who want to help you with positive people to really help bring you through the grief and that process. So you can think of your loved ones with joy and peace and happiness instead of thinking of them and feeling pain. Of course, sometimes even if you get through the grieving process, there will be some pain there, but you'll be able to pull yourself through because you can think of all the positive memories and all the happy things that you share with that person or your, your loved one, your pet, your animal. So this video is getting kind of long. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to come on here and talk about that. I felt like it was really important to get that out and I just feel like it'll help you guys. Definitely, if you, I know that from reading my comments that some of you all have been through this. You guys have grieved losing a pet, losing a loved one. So if you have any tips that can help anybody, definitely leave them in the comments below because I just really feel like having a community and having somebody to share with and to help push you through and pull you through can be the difference between life and death um, essentially not to be dramatic but it can really be the difference in somebody being able to grieve and move on and have a healthy happy happy life or someone who's stuck in that grief and depressed and miserable and may not be able to move on um, so yeah that's all that I got for you guys today you see those bar collars did work it was peacefully quiet now Marley's still looking out the window and Zoe's just laying at my feet but yeah we still use those they're not shock collars they spray but yeah still very 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 useful and if you guys have any questions about that we do have a video on the bark collars also before I go I wanted to mention please you guys follow us on Instagram we are going to start getting more active on our Instagram channel so definitely follow those rookies times three on Instagram um yeah and so I am really trying to get on a schedule I am always going to post on Sundays about 3 p.m. on Sundays Eastern time um, and I really want to get up to the point where we're doing every Sunday of course I missed two Sundays after I posted the last video but definitely trying to get up to every Sunday and I do think I'm going to do a week of dog miss in December so yeah just um, thank you guys so much for just tuning in with us and sticking in with us and just being patient with us as we get through our grieving process and get back into the swing of things. Definitely like thank you guys so so much for watching those jerkies times three and um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys next Sunday.